Singapore, people drink water made of pee. Let me explain. Singapore is a very small country without much water. In fact, it's an island. That's why they invested billions of dollars to recycle every drop of water and turn the toilet water into clean one by doing a special filtration process to clean water. And then a special ultraviolet ray process that is beamed at the water to kill every single remaining bacteria. That's how they end up with this water that is 100% clean and 100% safe. Water can go from this to this. As we take water for granted, let's look at Singapore. Because there, even pee doesn't go to waste. <laughs> In Singapore, they love mosquitoes. This is the exciting journey of how Singapore fights mosquitoes with mosquitoes. They created a new type of good mosquito that doesn't bite or hurt you in any way. But if this good mosquito mates with a bad mosquito that carries the dengue virus, then the bad mosquitoes will not be able to have babies. It's so genius that Singapore opened a mosquito factory, created millions of good mosquitoes every day, put them in a mosquito gun, and blasted them to neighborhoods, rooftops, gardens, everywhere. And the result? Bad mosquitoes dropped by a large percentage, and so did the virus. It goes to show the world's biggest problems can be fixed with a little bit of creativity and maybe a mosquito gun. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. This is the world's best airport, and I'm gonna show all of it to you. This airport is like a mini city with restaurants, a movie theater, a museum, and even a swimming pool, and much <laughs> more. This is not a resort. This is not an amusement park. This is not a health club. This is an airport. Welcome to it's crazy! You can spend a whole day here and it doesn't even feel like an airport. You can swim in a pool, go down a water slide, or play in this five-story playground. There is also a sunflower garden, a butterfly garden, and the world's tallest indoor waterfall, all in this airport. And when you get tired from it all, you can take a break and rest in this sleeping space. This airport made me go from hating layovers to loving them. That's one minute, see you tomorrow. Okay, this is crazy. If you've ever driven a car, then you definitely know this feeling. You! It's the feeling of anger you get when other people don't know how to park. They double park, they triple park, and they take more space than they deserve that makes everyone angry. What the f bro? But not here in Singapore, and I kid you not, 95% of all their cars are parked in reverse to save space and to make room for other cars. They only use the space they are allowed and no more. And the cars that don't do it are usually from another country. This is not the government or the law. This is the people who develop a culture of respecting road etiquette. That's why everyone needs to see this. Because in this tiny, tiny country with very limited space, the people are sharing it in the most respectful way possible. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. You will hate this country if you smoke. And you will love this country if you don't smoke. Because this country bans smoking inside and outside. Welcome to Singapore. Here in this entire three kilometer district, which is in the heart of the city, smoking is banned. In this busy shopping area, you can only light a cigarette in tiny, tiny boxes that are clearly marked. Outside of them, no smoking in parks, no smoking at bus stops, no smoking on the beach, no smoking around people. This is amazing because smoking not only hurts you, but it also hurts everyone around you. 
This three kilometer district is now smoke free. But soon entire cities and countries will become smoke free. And that is good news for all of us. That's one minute, see you tomorrow. Hi, what I'm holding right now is a very powerful piece of paper because this is the world's strongest passport. And it doesn't belong to any of the countries you expect. Not the US, not China, not the UK or Iceland. It belongs to a tiny, tiny country called Singapore. This passport gets you 189 countries visa-free access, which is a ton more than many other passports. I can barely travel with this one. That's true. And this is why Singapore is doing it right. They don't try to fight, invade, or take over other countries. All they want is to be friends with everyone around them and make life better for their citizens. As other countries fight each other to get more power, let's look at Singapore because they are the ones with real power. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. In Singapore, I found two women who can make seafood without killing sea animals. These two women and their team created the world's first shrimp that is entirely clean. All you need is one stem cell. That's it. They take the cell from one healthy shrimp, grow it with organic nutrients, put it in a super clean environment, and bam, it will grow to become shrimp meat without having to kill an animal. And it tastes just as good as the real one because it's chemically the same. With this process, they can feed 1 billion people from just one shrimp. The world needs healthier, cleaner, and more ethical ways to eat and feed the billions of humans on earth. When their team succeeds, the world will be better for humans and animals alike and a little bit tastier. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. In Singapore, I found a guy who can kill fire in one second. Meet Judah. Hi, my name is Judah J and I am the Fire Terminator. Judah spent years studying fires and came up with this liquid that can stop fires from destroying things. You can pour it anywhere and it will protect any object even after the solution dries off. See, when Judah was a kid, he was burned by fire himself and he had to spend 45 days in a hospital recovering from second degree burns. But unlike most of us, he did not avoid fire, he studied it and got a PhD in fire management to become an expert in the very thing that tried to kill him. Thousands of scientists like Judah are working to save the planet from burning. And if they succeed, we all succeed. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. In Singapore, there is no trash. They get rid of it in one day. Here is how they do it. First, they collect all the trash in the country, drive it to this building to burn it. 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days a year, the fire is burning trash in this factory. The heat from this process becomes electricity to light up homes and the toxic smoke gets filtered out and becomes super clean. The remaining ash from the fire is taken to a man-made island, dumped into a special water that doesn't touch the ocean water. This process is so clean, the corals are still alive and the animals are still around. From collecting, to burning, to filtering, to conservation, this is how you keep planet Earth clean. That's one minute. See you tomorrow.